Hey, man, it's your boy, my boss, so is, man. I just jumped out the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard, man. My I ain't this shit to get, let's eat some bullets out this seat. Money round drum, I do red dip shit right where he live. All right, so we got my guy, my boss, O.S., jumping up. off the porch with us today. Welcome, bro. What's up, Rebel, man? I appreciate you, man. I appreciate being here, man. Nah, I appreciate you, you know, taking that time, making that drive yes, from Memphis sir. down here to Atlanta, man. I had to, man. I had to take that trip. Come holler at you, man. Yes, sir, man. So how you yeah. feeling today, man? Look like you're in good man, spirits, I'm, man. I'm feeling too good. I'm down here shopping my ass off. You know how this <laughs> shit go, man. You know, Memphis need to come down here, man. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? I just had to, man. Just... Live Lenny's, man. I'm finna, what you say? You said go to Phipps. Go to Phipps, man. I'm finna head there next, man. Go blow a bag in that motherfucker. You feel me? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. How, how does the shopping here in Atlanta compare to Memphis, or is there no comparison? Man, it ain't time? no comparison, bro. Yeah, yeah. We ain't got no fun. designer huh. down there. Like, you gotta take a trip just to get some real design and For shit. For real? Like, we just we wear yeah. Shit we want shit. yeah, we be trying to sauce up and shit, but you know, you know how I go, man. Nigga be wanting to throw on some Alexander, a Miri or something, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Some goo out, something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> down there, you just gotta, man, you gotta really put that shit together down there, but it's easier when you when you do it like that first and then come get this design and shit. You really oh, yeah. shit on them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the clothes don't really make you anyway. Nah, you gotta nah, know how to put that you shit still on anyway, that man. shit, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Nah, no, that's real, man. For sure, for sure. Yeah, man, go ahead and introduce your, you know, your boy sitting up there with you. My nigga, too, Fredo Gas, man. Okay. C-O-D-M-G, Fredo Gas, man. Man, oh, how this shit finna come out to me, man? You know what I'm talking about, man? I'm talking about, like, we just dropped a track called uh, No Love. No Love. That motherfucker so bumping. I'm talking yeah. about, man. We just be popping our shit, man. South Memphis niggas, man, popping our shit, man. You know how this shit go. Yeah. Trying to get the fuck out that motherfucker though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I feel that. Yeah, yeah, man. Ain't shit going on down there. A lot of killing, dealing, and stealing, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, why do you think Memphis has that reputation of, you know, so much violence, being a tough city to make it Because that's all you see growing up, like, shit, when you... Memphis yeah. the violence. Like, I ain't lying, like, that shit, I ain't gonna lie, man. You ain't gonna get no name down there being a, a nigga trying to help out the community and shit, like... But the first time you shoot a nigga at, everybody know your ass. True. You like, damn, they might just bust this at woo woo, man. Woo. It like, you gotta be into some bullshit for them to get your name popping and shit like that, you know? So for a nigga who just trying to make a way out for, for everybody, that shit, you know, you gotta put in a little more harder work. That's all. Yeah. It's gonna work though. You just gotta put in a little more hard work. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like the city's gotten worse since you were younger up until today? Yeah, or is it? yeah. Man, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. When I was a young nigga, we could do a lot of. Man, like when we were bored when I was young, we used to just walk, like no cap, pack, pack of folks walking. You just see a pack of, man, we used to be about 15 deep just mobbing, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything was just, it was like, I ain't even heard, but like, it wasn't no, no motherfucker pulling up, shooting and shit. Yeah, we fought more than anything, bro. Like, I ain't lying, we would meet up in the bathroom at school and go check, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, these little niggas at the schoolhouse with that thing, you hear me? I don't want to lose no more. This, this shit, man, Memphis got a big pride thing, bro. Yeah. Like, you can't even get your ass beat. That don't mean you a hoe. You fought. You did your thing. You just can't whoop him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. D or nigga. even you just can't whoop him that day. You feel me? That day, man, back the come next on, day. man. These niggas finna blow your ass off right after the fight. Yeah. You might well shoot anyway. You might well start off with the shots fired. <laughs> yeah, so that's how everybody think. I'm going to keep it real. Nigga like, man, I ain't finna fight no nigga. I'm finna blow that ass off. <laughs> Cause the moment you whoop a nigga ass, it's dead. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah, you, it ain't got way worse, bro. Way worse. Do you feel like social media plays an impact in that as well? Yeah, cause this music, man. All the young niggas nowadays, they just they making it their high speed, their high speed, steal steal your cop music and shit. You know what I'm talking about? And that's what really going on. Like you know, niggas sliding on niggas, shit like this. So yeah. it's like. Man, social media, and then that, that's the quickest way to get that. Okay, if I want my op to hear a song I just dropped, I'm gonna go to the same cameraman he just went to. They rapping about shit that we don't even want people to No, do. yeah, like back then, that's the biggest difference between now and back then. Back then, you kill a nigga. You and mine, you have, you have been a guy to with your own brother or something because he telling motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Now, you like, bro, go let them folks know I did. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they put or, it on wax. And or you finna yeah. go on the social media platform and, and go live. Yeah, man, I'm smoking on him. I'm smoking you. And he be like, what the fuck? Like, nah. They bro. crashing up. They, come on, man. Ricos and shit. Like the police ain't watching this shit, man. Come on, man. They, they, bro, they part of that. It just, to me, I'm gonna keep it real. I feel like nowadays, it, police working real easy, man. 
They got cameras set up everywhere, sky mm -hmm. cams everywhere, snitching ass young niggas telling on they self. Man, that shit's so easy now. They already know you did it before you even did it. You know what I'm talking about? Before you even killed that nigga, you already told them you finna go kill him. Ah, oh, man, I'ma burn that nigga as soon as I see him, as soon as he end up dead. What you think they finna go do? They finna come, come holler at you. Yeah. Make sure you, you know what I mean? So, shit done got way worse, bro. Social media fucking up that. I feel like not just Memphis, that shit fucking up every city, because oh, I be in St. Louis yeah. too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My second home, you feel me, boy? Okay. Mine, bro, that, that shit fucking up everywhere, bro. Everybody got something to prove, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's like a put my hood on type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like there's a lack of OGs out there, like a lack of positive guidance out there, or are these youngins they ain't listening OGs. regardless? They can't do nothing with them. They can't do nothing with them, bro. I know, yeah. I know some real, I know some real stand-up niggas who, 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 who over a lot of young niggas and get what they on. Mine, these young niggas don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. These young niggas feel like fuck an OG. If I can do it myself, they having money. You know what I'm saying? These young niggas having real money. money. So it's like, if you having more money than the nigga who telling you what to do, you think you finna listen to him? You know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, you fucked up out here. What the fuck I look like listening to you? You know what I'm saying? So, man, it's, it's, some, it's some knowledge there. It's just these niggas don't want to listen, bro. Yeah. They don't listen to their own mom and dad. You think mm -hmm. they finna listen to a, you know what I'm saying? Nah, these niggas don't listen. Now, do you think music gets some of the blame for this? Or should music get some of the blame for this negative influence? Or? No, because I'm going to keep it real, Or is it more bro. just a reflection of what's really I'm going gonna on? I'm going to keep it real. You can listen to a love song and help me be talking about fucking a bitch. That don't mean you got to go fuck a bitch. Like, you know, it might make you want to fuck the bitch, but that don't mean you got to go do it. Same thing with the music. Yeah. That shit going to be saying, oh, pull up on the op, blah, blah, blah. You ain't got to go do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Live your life. That's what that nigga lives. You know what I'm saying? Images they trying to Yeah, train. then everybody want to be hard. Man, look like you got some money. Fuck trying to be gangster. Yeah, see. Like, man, I, I really, I'm going to keep it real, man. I hate the fact that I got to post videos of me with guns and shit just to get folks attention because if i post a, a regular picture it's like ah oh, just you know what i mean but you post pictures with guns now you see yeah you see nigga really toning in oh man my nigga turn he got that shit woo woo whole time that shit like it's like man it's a it's a it's a it's a for real it's a throw out for real i want you to tune in so i can let your ass know what's really going on yeah. man you ain't got to be like that because i'm like that in like this you know what i'm saying so you can be both. These niggas just only want to be tough. You know what I'm saying? That tough shit get your ass killed. You got to be smart out here, bro. You feel me? Oh, so absolutely. yeah, man. It, the music ain't to blame, bro. Like, you know, they got a video game. Mm -hmm. Grand Theft Auto. Come on, man. San Andreas. That, you can't blame that on. Sad, yeah, man. nigga. You know what I'm talking about? You got, you, 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 you deal with choices every day. You got to make a choice. They're like, shit, nigga can go on the killing spree every day. Why yeah, they ain't sad. doing it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, shit. Products of the environment. Yeah, it's like my motherfucker just wanna man. Motherfucker really be wanting to prove be something on the internet. Cause when you see him in real life, they don't even beat it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like man, the music ain't it, it's really the internet, if anything. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I feel that. It, it, it helped the music get on quick, like, yeah. you know, spread the music faster, you know. So yeah, it's the internet, bro. Social media, it's this shit, yeah. Yeah. So let's take it back. When would when would you say you jumped off the porch? How old are you? Man. I was probably like eight, nine years old. I'm the, it's, it's 10 of us, I'm the ninth child, so I was doing oh, wow. everything my brother and was doing when they did it for the first time. So, man, smoking weed, I probably was eight, nine. We was smoking in the house, blowing the shit through the vents, thinking we escaping around. My, my mama come upstairs, oh, she opened the door, big ass cloud come out there, hoe. <laughs> She like, strip, we like, damn, she said, strip, we gotta get naked this time, we get a whip mine, that shit went, mine. We, we were just, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I honestly feel like, it, cause I, we moved to St. Louis probably when I was like nine or something, came back. I came back when I was like 17, some shit like that, got my own crib, but anyway, we would stayed in, in, in Memphis, bro, nigga probably would've been in jail, dead or something, we were too lit. Then we ain't like, I, like, we was already deep, we ain't had to really go join nothing cause we was already like, you know, we, we deep mind. We had the whole neighborhood in front of our house and we was staying in North Memphis and shit like that. We were turned like, shit like that. Like we already had motherfuckers migrating towards us. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it was like, man, couple more years in Memphis, man, we would have been so outside, so True. ratchet. Then I'm gonna keep it real, it wasn't, it wasn't that much. Not saying like my mom and them weren't watching us, but shit, we could go outside and go link with our cousin in real fast. Like, and then we all at the store, deep in hell, stealing and shit. Mm -hmm. We running to the running back home. Like it, it was just, 
it was fun back then, but you know, that would make, that, 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 that little mind frame would make motherfuckers slow nowadays. Like, you know, constantly getting away with shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That shit had you doing whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga moved to St. Louis, everything slow down. We ain't know nobody, nicer community. Hmm. We like, damn, what are we at? <laughs> it's over with. It's over with. These young niggas is not on there right now. They want to, they want to fight us on we got down there. For like, real? let me see what these young niggas about, man. We we beating shit ASAP. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. So it was like, man, that like like everywhere we went, we had to prove some little like like okay, they they tough enough to be in this neighborhood. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Like, man. So then we end up being friends with the nigga we fought. It was like they was just <laughs> testing us. Like, yeah, you get, you get let me see respect. if y'all yeah hard yeah. enough to hang with us. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this shit was cool, man. It was just. Just glad we made that transition, bro. You feel me? Yeah. What inspired you to move back to Memphis when you were 17, man? Family shit. Okay. I, all down there was like, you know, it was, they my family too, but it's like step family. Like, you know what I'm saying? Memphis out of my blood family. I got, you know, me wanted to get back down around them and shit. You know what I'm saying? Then shit, I got down here, got my little first job, got me a crib. Man, it was up then, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that shit was love. They could do what the fuck they wanted to. But that, that took on a whole nother ball game. Now I got to understand. I was 17 paying bills mm-hmm. in my own house. I ain't had no mama to throw me no money, no daddy to say, hey, this how you post. Nah, nigga had to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? You fuck up that chick, like, damn, next week I got to do better. Like, you know what I'm saying? Man, you, next week come, that motherfucker want to have a sit. Now you got to, man, you spend the extra money on weed, you know? Just stupid shit, having to learn how to just sacrifice. Yeah, have to learn how to sacrifice, you know, like shit, sometimes you can't kick it with your nigga and them because you got a bigger picture going. You know what I'm talking about? Like you on some whole other shit, you know? Yeah. You trying to save up for a car. But but you know how I go, man. You click up with your niggas, it's like, man, they get some gas, they go buy some drink, they go. It's, you know, it's just the move. It's fun to do that shit, but when y'all done, when everybody, all right, cuz, I'm gone, cuz, that shit, you back broke again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you they, like, they go, damn. The money go? Yeah, yeah, you like, damn, this shit, I ain't even yeah, know what I Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so, all a learning experience, though. Yeah, it's, yeah, big, I had to learn real fast, bro. A lot of these yeah, niggas man. still out here, my age now, still in that mode. I'm like, come on, bro. I did that when I was 17. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll grow so, that shit quick. Come on, man, you feel me? Like, man, I been stopped playing the video game. That shit was like, you know what I'm saying? I know niggas right now, that's how they do it. Mm. Get on the game. That ain't, it ain't nothing wrong with that, but man, come on, man. You gotta get out there mode, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. So what's some trials and tribulations you had to overcome in your life so far for you to be able to make it and sit on this porch with us today? Man, I had to learn how to, yeah, jail like a motherfucker, but I had to learn how to, like, man, I had to learn how to stop stop fucking with motherfuckers so tough. Like I could have been on this porch, bro. I just mind when I get up, I be so ready to help the next motherfucker like I want just down. You know what I'm saying? You then you yourself. Yeah, then you help they ass. Then you back down and it's like, who the fuck gonna be there for you? Where you at when you down? You know what I'm saying? So I had to learn how to like my balance. That was that was the yeah. word I put in everything. It's a balance in everything. Balance on how much you kick with your niggas, how much you smoke weed, how much you spend money, how much you chill with your gal, how much you go to work. It's a balance on everything. So I had to learn how to just balance that shit out. Like, okay, I can fuck with them, but then at the same time, I gotta let them know I can only fuck with them this much. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can let him spend a night, but he can't spend a night every day. Yeah, yeah. shit like that. Like, gotta mind put a balance on that shit, man, you know? No, that's real shit right hey, there. Yeah, man. yeah, like for real. Yeah. So how long you been rapping and what inspired you to start at this shit? Uh, I started, I've been rapping since I was about like eight, like actually writing music okay. and shit. And my, just, you know, just kicking it around my brothers and my cousins and shit. I'm gonna keep real, my little cousin. I, I moved back to St. Louis when I was like, what, like eight, nine? I was in like third grade or some shit. Moved up there, my little cousin. I had, see, I ain't gonna lie, I've been back and forth to St. Louis, man. I'm born in South Memphis, mm-hmm. but then I moved to St. Louis ASAP. Like, I ain't even know I had brothers and shit. I come back to Memphis, my, I met my brother and them, then we went back to St. Louis when I was about eight. So boom, when I got down there, I seen my little cousin I used to kick it with, and I'm like, damn, cuz, what you got going? He showing me, man, him making beats, rapping on it, putting it on the CD, we'll go in his mama car, play this shit, you know what I'm saying? I liked it, that shit, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, then I used to see how he wanted to be like me, he like, he try, he like, can I take your lingo? Can I say this? Can I say, <laughs> you know, a Memphis nigga talk way different than up north. Yeah. You know, they like, we country and shit. So 
he just liked the difference that we came down there with. So he like, man, fuck that, I wanna be part of that whole time. I'm seeing him turning up on his music shit. Like, I wanted to be like him, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, man, I started kicking it with the cub. I'm starting to see how talented he is and shit. I started to wanna be like that. Like, man, I like that shit. When we get in the car, we 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 bumping to him. I want I want everybody to bump to me too, me and him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's really what inspired it. And then I I started doing it. At first, motherfuckers weren't fucking with it. They like that shit whack. So I had the real deal, like prove myself, kind of like okay, you think this shit whack? I got something for your ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I say about late middle school? That's when I really started to find that I was like. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to get hard now, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's just a, a little, you know, like cooking, whatever you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You can be playing basketball. You ain't going to start out the greatest Yeah, you got to practice at this you shit, gotta man. You got to practice You put the hours in. Pra- yeah, so, so it's like I kept practicing and shit, and I started to see myself get better. Motherfuckers like, hey, turn that song on you did the other day. Now I'm in that whole like, oh, yeah, I got, I'm going to make another song. Y'all like that, you know what, yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, it just, man. And my boss, OS, how'd you come up with this? Because there's other people that are my boss, right? Yeah, my mom boss stands for some different shit. My shit, uh, man, the business based on self success. And then OS, that was my old rap name when I was a little kid. Okay. Yeah, yeah, old and swag. So I just cut the whole word off of just OS. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was just OS for like about five, six years. And then I started to see, like, man, I'm telling you, bro, when I get around folks, bro, they love me, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers to get, my do this and that for you. So I just be trying to lead a nigga the right way. Fuck all this shit. Yeah. I want you to do this for me. Like, write a song for me. You know what I'm Not write a song for me, but write a song so we can, you know what I'm saying, do some music together. Mm-hmm. Go cut some grass so you get some shit like that, bro. Start motivating people. Then I start to feel like, okay, yeah, like, motherfuckers gravitating to me like I'm like a, like the, the, the boss or something. Like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Not no, not no like leadership way as far as like I'm running niggas, but you know, motherfucker come to me for advice and shit, even on the music. Motherfucker write a verse, hey bro, how this shit sound? And then I'm thinking in my head, I think you hard, but you come to me wondering how I think it. Like, you know, and they really value my opinion. Like if I don't, if I don't say it's hard, I'd be like, oh, it's just great. Oh, it's just great. Like they want to make something hard to me. You get what I'm saying? So I used to peep how motherfuckers do that. And then it just, you know, all came together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I started my turning up with this shit. Then I love black. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, before you know it, I just got to ride around one day. I'm like, I'm in a bend. All black, I'm in black clothes, <coughs> chains, man. I'm a mob boss around these bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know, all this shit that came together, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Deep, yeah, yeah, we deep, man. I got so many niggas that's gonna pull up about me, bro. So it's like, man, you know. But I'ma lead my ball, I'ma lead my clique the right way, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't finna be no crash shouts and shit. Every nigga around me got motion. Every nigga, you feel me? Yeah. Come on, man. Everybody That's what's about at the end of the day. Come on, man. man. Put everyone else in position to win, too. How you going to be up? Like I was telling you earlier, I'm helping motherfuckers out. When I need help, it's over with. Hmm. Now I'm fucking with niggas who, if I help them out and I need their help, it's there. You know what I'm saying? You got to cut them, cut them niggas who don't want to do for themselves out your circle. Man. It's your brother, cousin, sister, daddy, whoever. Cut their ass off. You're going to see... You gonna see some progression, and then you can go back and help that. You can't yeah. help them the whole way through. Your ass gonna be down just like that. Real shit, man. Yeah, yeah. So, how would you describe your journey as an artist? You know, from when you first put out your first song or video up until today. Uh, I say, man, it, it, it was like I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never think I was whack. Like they were telling me I was whack at first, but I didn't ever think of that. I just felt like, you know, like I ain't letting y'all hear the right shit or or like. <laughs> I'm expressing my way the wrong way. I'm expressing myself the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? So once I started to see, ah, niggas like to hear this. You know what I'm saying? It got easy for me. So it was, it was more so real easy for me. Like, you know, I catch on to shit fast. I mastered that shit real fast. Like, okay, this what they like. Then you can put on the slow beat. I know what to talk about on that motherfucker. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just, it was easy for me, bro. I like to master everything I do, like for real. Uh, you sent me the song called "Not Me." I don't yeah. know if this one's out or not, but yeah, this that's, that's the one. That's the one. It's, it's called "No Love," but yeah, okay. the, the track we just you know on YouTube is called "No Love." Okay, but, okay. Yeah, that's me and him. Yeah, me and him bumped him up. That's hard as fuck, yeah. man. <laughs> Appreciate like, it. Damn, these boys snapping on this shit. Yeah, man. I'm talking about yeah, man. 
I, my, like I said, bro, cuz like, let's go to the studio. We pull up to that motherfucker. I ain't even had no music to write, bro. I just wanted to go to, like I told you, I be trying to help and support the next motherfucker because I know I be believing in motherfuckers. You believe in yourself, I believe in you too. You know what I'm saying? So shit, man, I pull up to the studio, cuz drop that shit. I'm like, damn, this bitch hard. He like, go on, hop on this hoe with me, cuz. I'm like, damn, man. You know what I mean? I ain't got nothing wrote. He like, man, I know you can think of something real quick, cuz. <laughs> so I end up, while he in there dropping his shit, I'm in there jotting down real quick, man. I get done. Go in there, hoe, drop it. Then he like, man, fuck that. I'm finna come back in on that motherfucker. Then I had to tell that man, hey, man, cuz, you gotta get out this booth, bro. You giving they ass too much time. <laughs> this is just one song, bro. You gotta get the fuck out of this booth, cuz, you hear me? So, yeah, man, we be, for the most part, bro, we had fun doing shit, bro. Like, yeah. we had fun. That's how we, man. I think we booked an hour. We was in that hoe like four hours. Yeah, like, my producer even fuck with me. Like, shout out my nigga Tay Bands, man. Loaded, man, media, yeah, man. MJ on the beat. Yeah, man, I'm talking about mine. Everybody, bro, when I tell you, motherfucker fuck with us so yeah, tough, bro. Hard, yeah, like, man, nigga be having fun with this shit, to be honest, bro. Like, motherfuckers say this shit, it's expensive for sure, but as mm -hmm. long as you got a team, bro, that shit ain't shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shit smooth. Yeah. Got some little kinks, but. Yeah, yeah, you for sure, man. That just let you know you doing you shit. Yeah. Shit if it ain't no hard way up, it wasn't worth it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At all. That easy shit ain't never worth it. And you just dropped a video for Kill Switch. This shit been going up too. Yeah, man. yeah, Kill Switch. That motherfucker hard. Yeah, we me and him shot the uh shot the St. Louis, man. We had shot up. Tori shot that one, right? Yeah, my okay. boy Tori did that motherfucker. Hell yeah, we shot up there. It was cold as a bitch, bro. I'm talking about <laughs> <sighs> we had I shot we shot two of them that day. Under the arc, bro. It's cold. Yeah, yeah. The first one we dropped, uh, that hoe was called Scoop. You heard me with my boy uh Sco. My nigga Sco, Fredo Gas, and it was me on that hoe. We was underneath the arch with that motherfucker, you okay, feel me? Yeah. And then man, I was like, cool, we gonna get sick out here, bro. <laughs> we done got used to this Memphis weather. This year here too cold. We in front of the water. This year was Oh you get that get that breeze. Cause I shit. couldn't even really I could mind, bro. That, that had to be one of the most uncomfortable videos, not like, like, like I was comfortable, it was cold, out. like, <laughs> yeah, like the video came out fire, he did that shit, but it was just like, being there, I had to disguise how cold I was, I'm in that bitch like, shit, Shiver. I didn't want to take my hands out of my pocket, you heard me, <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was, it was fun though, then they kill switch and I had, I'm like, fuck that cuz, we finna go back to the hotel room, do this hoe, <laughs> like, man, fuck, I, I wanted to do some more shit outside, I wanted to get outside on that hoe, like, yeah, man, he was so cold from the first video. I he like, cuz, <laughs> he, he snoozing this shit. He like, cuz, I don't it's think like I can make the other one. I'm like, damn, cuz, you feeling like that? You bad, man, cuz, nigga, bro, when you used to the south, it's warm down here. Yeah. Then you go up north, bro. Should gotta wear you a man. big fat ass coat. Man, I ain't gotta get you a big fat ass coat or something, no cow. <laughs> get you a Montclair or something. Yeah, yeah, get you a Montclair. Hey, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Some, I be man. You need one of those fast Chicago jackets. Them niggas be up there with them big fat ass bones. <laughs> nah, coat. for real. I see why they win. Ain't no hope. Yeah. Hell yeah. So you just went to see my boy, uh, famous animal. Yeah, that my ago. nigga, man. Famous. I yeah. fuck with dude. He from the city, bro. Mm -hmm. I fuck with dude. He funny as hell, bro. Yeah. Like, he got that energy, man. Nah, he let go. That shit be too funny, cuz. I be. I'm gonna keep it real. Yeah, like yeah. he ain't doing no capping. This how he is. Off the camera, he, he a funny ass nigga, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He cool, so it's like, man, I had to show, I had to go fuck with him real quick. He in the city. Yeah. I, I recently did a little video, a little interview with Wicked Fans too last okay. week. Okay, shout out to Wicked. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I did one with Wicked. Me and Zed Zilla got a video coming up too, though. So yeah, oh, I shit. got yeah, I got some shit in there for yeah. y'all, ass, man. And me and Cud got some more shit on the way. Don't ever think we playing. Okay. Yeah, we finna we finna pop off on y'all, ass, man. We just. Like I said, bro, it's a little harder to do shit when you just talking about money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, when you, you doing this shit independently. Money. Yeah, yeah like, 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 I'm talking about as far as the rap lyrics. We, we, we talk about that shit, but we, for the most part, talk about popping our shit. Like, we just like, went and did this. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, so it's like, oh. motherfucker, like, if we get on some hot boy shit, we'll pop out real fast. You mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about? But man, nigga older, we trying to we trying to get some more money. That's it, bro. You heard me? Like, if yeah. it ain't pop money, I don't know what we talking about. Like for real. Like, yeah. So you working on a new project right now? You kinda just focus on singles and videos? Right now, yeah, I'm just really focused on singles and videos as far as like like I got a nice little fan base, but I need a bigger one. Like I, I wanna I want a better little 
little fan base before I get to dropping real music and motherfucker don't even hear it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I want I want a motherfucker to at least be tuned in when I drop that fire. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's good. So who's some of the other producers you've been working with lately? Uh, my I, well, as far as producers, my yeah, Key Savage. I just be telling Cud give me the beats. You heard me? I, yeah. oh, man, I really Cud. They be sending Cud the beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like Cud, drop the beat. Shout out to MJ on the beats. He worked with Double O, Meg Critter. Okay. A lot of these rap niggas. Savage, yeah. man. That's my dog. We locked in. We've been locked in for years. He fuck with a lot of folks, too, though. Yeah, a lot I got of folks. A lot of producers. A lot of folks. Yeah, it's it, man. I ain't lying, bro. Shout out my nigga Genzu, too, man. He been low key, but yeah, I got a couple tracks with him on that motherfucker. Shout out Big Dog K. But my, my engineer, yeah, man. My engineer, Tay Bands, man, he, he, my big major part of this shit, bro. Like, I don't even go drop with nobody else. Oh. It ain't even, he just know how I like my music to sound. You nah, know that's what important I'm to have a good engineer, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Like, like you, I, I tried to go drop with some old folks. I didn't like it. Like, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like you gotta have that chemistry, man. Yeah, it's like my bro be in that hole chopping me up and tweaking with my voice while I'm in there still dropping. It's like he know what I want. You know what I'm saying? I get done, I be like, yeah, I fuck with it. And but then at the same time, he gonna let me know what's up. Like, mm -hmm. oh, where's that shit whack? You know, <laughs> go do that shit again. Now, like, that's nah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, I fuck with nigga who don't want a nigga just be dropping anything on mm -hmm. that shit. Yeah, so. Yeah, I fuck with him real tough, man. Real shit, man. So what's yeah, some goals yeah. you got set for the rest of 2023? Oh, man, dropping some more fire music and goddamn it, man, putting my team on for the most part. By, by, by 2024, need black we need to be, shit. yeah, we need to be, we need to be, uh, me and Cud need to be in Miami somewhere doing this shit. They need to be paying us to do this shit, yeah. you hear me? But uh, yeah, 2023, man, I got, I be cooking this shit. I got a business called Big Ham's Kitchen and shit, Oh, for real? Okay. Yeah, man, I be cooking like my, my cooking my ass off. What, what's your go-to dish? Like, what, what, what's some of you really be whipping up, man? Uh, right now, loaded potatoes. I got okay. egg rolls. I got Philly steaks. I got a lot of shit, man, that, that, that motherfuckers like to eat when they high. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be high, but, man, you get this high. This 420. So. Man, <laughs> niggas be turning this shit up, man. But yeah, though. I got me a trailer on the way. Uh, it, it'll be here June, sometime in June. Brand new, everything, man. So, mm. as far as goals, I need. I want that motherfucker to be food, successful. Do it too with yeah, okay, like yeah. I'm, I'm a hit, like 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 how uh, what's my nigga night? Grow hero. Yeah. But we gonna be doing the show right after that motherfucker oh, closed. That's hard, right there. Yeah, as soon as that be closed down, I'm doing the show. I'm gonna write this shit off on my business account, bro. You heard me? Like yeah. business taxes. You feel me, man? Mm -hmm. Every trip I take, that she gonna be a business trip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. Feed the city. They gonna love me too. And I'm gonna be passing out CDs and shit while I'm motherfucking not just CD like flyers with the the, 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 the barcode with yeah. the links to mm -hmm. and shit. Passing that shit out with an order. So by the time we get done and go to the show, we'll have some motherfuckers to come to that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Cause all it takes is one click and you motherfuckers hook. Just like with this chicken shit and this cooking shit, man. Motherfucker just come try me one time and your ass hook. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Oh, that's smart right there. Hey, man. hey, man, when I tell you, bro, I be mine. Like right now, I'm down here fucking with you, blowing my phone up, blowing my phone. <laughs> they you ain't open today, bro. You cooking today? Woo. Man, I hate turning them folks down, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause man, every day I get new customers and yeah. shit. So yeah, man. No, that's hard right there. Big Ham's Kitchen, man. Go holla at me. I'm in the Haven, man. Why Haven, man? Come holla at me. Right now I'm on DoorDash too though, so oh, you, for get real? Your, okay. man, you get your shit DoorDash to all that shit, man. My bro, when I tell Boy, you, I playing be, with this I shit. be busy, man. You feel me? So, you know this rap shit, man. I love it and shit. It just, man, I gotta have more than one income. You know what no, I'm saying? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm finna start shooting these videos too. I just got the whole setup, everything that I'm looking at right now. I got it already. Okay. So yeah, I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I gotta learn that part now. So yeah. Yeah. No, that's all, right, man. Yep, yep. All right, don't ask. You got a shout outs you'd like to give before you wrap it up here, bro? Man, shout outs. I'm going to be all fucking day. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> shout out my boy, uh, Fredo Gay. Shout out my, my nigga, now, Tapo. My, my motherfucking nigga, Oz. My, shout out my nigga, Bankroll Jizzle. Shout out my. Boy, I'd be all day. OG Lil D, he in St. Louis with this shit. He turned right now. All my niggas in St. Louis, shout out to them. My nigga Sko, my nigga Threeski, my nigga Dunn Bilza, all them folks, man. Uh, shout out motherfucking uh, 
damn, man, I don't even want to miss nobody. Them folks going to be mad at here when I get... Free yeah. Frank. Man. Yeah, yeah, man, free my nigga Frank, man. Yeah, I know what it is, Frank. man. Man, let me see, let me see. I think that's about it for the mo part. Well, it ain't it though. It's a lot of mo motherfuckers. Man, yeah, we, man. yeah, man, y'all know I mind. Look, I should have wrote down it on the paper. I was planning <laughs> on writing down the paper, nigga, who I can shout out, but man. Y'all know what it is, man. <laughs> yeah, man, that, that's probably about it though, man, for right now. I'm gonna think of some more. <coughs> yeah, shout out everybody who supported me, man. Shout out everybody, man. I fuck with you, nigga. Yeah, man, I'm so sick right now, I can't get high, but, man, look, I'm saving money, bro. That's all I can think of, like, fuck it. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Man, I ain't got shit to get, let's get some bullets out this city. Honey round drum, I direct that bitch right where he live. I ain't got a meal, but I can show you.